Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canon Educator. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five things you must know about the remote collar. The first thing I wanna get into is the why. The e-collar is one of the only things, if not the only thing, that actually can communicate with your dog with some sort of reinforcement completely off leash. I want my dog to have the most freedom that she could possibly have off leash, enjoying nature as dogs are intended to do. I want my dogs to be happy. I want them to be the most fulfilled that they can possibly be. And the remote collar allows me to safely, humanely accomplish those goals. So for me, it's simple. I love my dog and I know that she's an animal and I know when I'm outside or I'm in different environments, it's important for me to be able to reliably reach my dog without any leash to make sure I can get her back or do the obedience I need to keep her safe and possibly the other people or the other animals around me safe. So you guys probably can't see this, but there's a woodchuck down in this valley and Lakota was like, hey, there's a woodchuck. She can probably smell it. She can definitely hear it. She's interested. That's why I use the e-collar. For examples like this, guys, is what if your dog decides to run after something? What are you gonna do if your leash is completely gone and you don't have the ability to communicate? So I don't wanna be naive to actual animal instincts and I wanna make sure that she can have her cake and eat it too. You're gonna be off leash, but if you see a woodchuck or a gopher or something like that, I also have the ability to communicate with her off leash reliably and responsibly. With modern remote collar training, we've come so far. And the things that we can do with technology today are remarkable and they've certainly progressed. So the precision for most dog owners who aren't professionals, who have a hard time or are struggling with the timing or maybe just how to correct a dog with a leash is unmatched. There's nothing out there that has the precision like the remote collar from a push of a button. Every dog tree unit has a level from zero, usually ranging up to 127 levels. Humans usually feel the e-collar roughly on their skin about an 11 or 12. Lakota, for an example, is usually around a six or a seven. Now, if I put a six or a seven to your skin or your face, you guys wouldn't be able to feel it. So how does it work for dogs? How do they feel it? And they have a lot more nerves on their neck than we do. So they're a lot more sensitive to it. They're not used to any type of stimulation. Now the e-collar has absolutely zero boundaries when it comes to the usage and the things that you could do with it. Dog Dogtra's collars are 100% waterproof. So you could go on top of a mountain. You could even go into the water. You could go into your apartment. You can go into your house. You can go into your field. It works in a car. The e-collar can really work anywhere you and your dog wanna go. Having your dog unleashed has a brand new meaning when you're e-collar training your dog. You have the ability to reach out and communicate with your dog anywhere, anytime, in the sand, in the water. So as you guys just saw, Coda's in the water, splish splashing around. I don't need to use the e-collar, but if I did, I certainly could very safely. It's much like if anybody out there, like I have, had been to the chiropractic therapy center, you'll know that they use TENS units often. The e-collar sensation is directly the same as a TENS unit. It works the same, it feels the same. The low level stimulation feels just like a tingle, and then the higher you go, the more intense you go. And I'm communicating with my dog a half a mile, a mile, three fourths of a mile all day long by a sensation that humans can't even pick up on their skin or on their face. One thing I love about the remote collar, guys, is I don't need it. That's a question I get often is, do you always put the e-collar on your dog when you're out? I give the answer like this. Do you always put a seatbelt on when you go into your car and you drive somewhere in public? Yes, because it's not always about how good you are and how skilled you are as a handler or even a driver in that scenario. It really matters about the things you can't control, nature, reality, other people. That's why I use the e-collar when my dogs are off leash, because I love them enough to make sure that if they do run into something, that I have the ability to communicate. So I just wanna show you guys that the e-collar is just a reinforcement for things that she already knows. So in this case, like with her, the e-collar is off. Corda, sit, good sit. Plats, good plats. Stay, Corda left, good heel, good. Break, left. Good. So I just want to demonstrate really quick, guys, that she'll listen to anything I say with or without the e-collar. Why do I do it? Because I love my dog. And I want to make sure that if that chipmunk or that deer or that 
homeless person, whatever happens when I'm out with my dog and I have her off leash, that I have the ability and a backup plan to make sure that I can get her attention and get her back to me safely because I love her. If you're interested in the e-collar, get one, try it out, return it if you don't like it. But one thing about the remote collar, I can promise you guys that when you're conditioning and you're working with the dog responsibly the way that you should, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't shock, it doesn't cause the dog any type of pain or anything on the conditioning levels that the dog is conditioning on off leash. So I always tell people, if you don't know what it is or maybe you're against it or maybe you don't feel comfortable using it, get it, put it on yourself. I urge you to do that. That's something that we do at the Upstate Canine Academy with all of our clients. We have them put it on their skin so they know what they're dealing with. It's the only fair thing to do to make sure that the owners feel comfortable using the collar. I have a ton of videos on the proper introduction of introducing the remote collar to your dog, which I'll link up here and I'll link in the description below as well. So it's important for you guys as you introduce the e-collar to your dog that you do it properly. The dog needs to understand that that sensation that they feel, they're like, hey, I wonder what this is, is actually coming from you. So in my opinion, if you guys do have a balanced dog trainer in your area that introduces the e-collar like the things that I'm saying, I would recommend introducing this with a professional. Where I do understand, I have clients all over the world, which I'm very grateful for, that you guys don't have the opportunity to actually work with somebody in person, which is why I have a lot of free videos here on YouTube that live here that you guys can watch over and over again. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you can leave comments in the comments below and our No Bad Dog Army community will certainly help you out, I'm sure. Now the e-collar is something that all of my dogs and all of my clients' dogs look forward to. When you get that e-collar out, they should be excited to put that on because that means they're gonna go on an adventure off leash and they're gonna be able to be the most fulfilled dog that they can possibly be. So, Cody, you ready? Break, let's go, let's go. Now the remote collar isn't for everybody. The e-collar is something that takes a lot of consistency and time layering in to make sure the dog fully understands the process in which the remote collar is supposed to be used. So listen guys, there's so many different ways to train dogs. There's so many different ways you can do recall. But for me and my personal dogs, as well as my clients and the people that I train with all over the world, we like using the remote collar for all the reasons I listed here. So I hope that this video was beneficial. If you haven't yet, do me a solid favor, you guys. No Bad Dog Army, like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment in the comments below if you guys have any questions about the remote collar, I'd be happy to assist. And I hope that this is uh, beneficial for you guys moving forward in the future. Out, yes. And I appreciate you guys watching.